the sun and moon are drawing closer to the surface of our realm. <clears throat> and you must understand. Oh, you know what? Y'all know what's going on. I ain't got to explain. Yeah, I ain't got to explain nothing. Y'all know what's going on. So the more spiritual we become, we draw the sun and moon closer to us. All right, you understand this. There, the radiation from the sun has literally multiplied. And these beings are trying to protect their species. All right. Even with the cold weather, they're trying to keep it cold in certain areas. You know, here in the so-called north, there is no north, there is no south. All right. I mean, well, you know, if you want to say you were traveling north, we're traveling north. But as far as a globe and we're north up, then we're up there, they're down there. No, 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 no. If you're talking about a compass, we you say north is getting closer to the center of the realm. All right. When you get to the center of the realm, you're just at the center of the realm. So we who are in the inner circle of the center of the realm, we're going to talk about that a little later. We're close to the inner circle of the center of the realm. Here in the so-called the in, in the so-called north area, Detroit, um, Michigan, um, Ohio, Illinois, Iowa, um, Colorado, Montana, all those areas, New York, New Jersey, New Hampshire, Maine, all right, um, Canada. Because we're closer to the center of the realm, it's actually hotter in this area than it is what you call down south. All right. The energy in the center of the realm, closer to when you get closer to the center of the realm, the energy literally magnifies. So it's a different energy here than it is in the so-called south. All right. So as we increase our spiritual energy, as we increase the spirituality and come deeper into who we are, we draw these um, these celestial bodies closer to us. All right. So they'll take time. They'll spray the, for the sun. They'll spray for the moon. Sometimes the sun be so close, it'll look like you throw a rock at it. Seriously. Same thing for the moon. All right. So these energies are drawing closer to us, giving us more power. So we have an enemy here who found a way to fall, make us fall from our frequency. All right. When we fell from our frequency. The sun drew further away from us. Now we are getting back into our frequency. We get back to our spirituality, and. Don't know how long or how short it took, but we're back. All right, we're back. And they're afraid because they understand the mystical nature of who we are. You come in my house, you tear me apart, and you don't expect for me to start straightening my house up while you there. And then when I begin, <laughs> excuse me there, I choked on some. Some um, you know how the long lasting stuff. I choked up some juice earlier, so give me a second here. <laughs> I'm I'm drinking like way too fast, <laughs> but you know I had juice a few things, and you tell me some good stuff. <laughs> it's still right there, but I'm getting it out. Um, so we're starting to clean up, and we're getting to the point where we're like, okay, I gotta straighten this chair up, I gotta straighten this table up. You know what? Your ass gotta go. So we gotta get ready to evict these motherfuckers. Seriously. We gotta get ready to evict them. 
So our spirituality is bringing it's, it's causing us to wake up from the sleep. You know, it's like somebody come in, breaking your house, and hit you with a serum and make you go to sleep. While you're going to sleep, they doing what, they doing whatever they want to do. Then you finally wake up, and they realize they can't put you back to sleep. All right. They realize they can't put you back to sleep, and they realize that they, yeah, their poison ain't working no more. They realize that you become have become immune to their poison, and now they're like trying to find different ways of making your home uncomfortable for you. And this is what they're trying to do. They're trying to make our own home uncomfortable, which means that you have to go and find your weapons so that you can begin fighting back. All right, they're spraying, they spray the sun. And they follow the sun sometimes when they they spray the sun next, but they follow the sun because of the 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 radiated radiated energy, especially when our galactic sun is giving off a, a um, an X flare or a corona mass ejection. Same thing happens with our atmospheric sun <coughs> because they work simultaneously. All right, the galactic sun and the atmospheric sun work together. So when they have those. Um, satellites they're not looking at the sun they're not looking at the sun they're looking at the sun that's in front of our galaxy that's in front that you can see pluto jupiter all that that's our galactic sun all right they do have satellites up there all right we talk about space there is space they do have satellites up there they had they have found out and these are old satellites this is before we close off a lot of the gateways but they can still they, they're watching. Alright. I just want to talk to you. The mystical powers. Of the original beings. So. Go deeper in the spirit. You're more powerful within yourself. You want to find something great and powerful. That you can use on the outside of you. Alright. Sun and moon is getting closer because with our spiritual energy by us awakening is drawing our sun and moon closer. They even spraying around the moon as well. The radiation, the frequencies that the moon is giving off, damages their body. A lot of their own species are like, oh, the moon is out, it's so beautiful. They don't know the damage it's been doing. Because the moon is a, it, it, its frequency is not like the sun. All right. So, share it with you all. Sun and moon are drawing closer because of our spirituality. We must go deeper into spirituality. Right? We use the sun as a weapon. We use the moon as a weapon as well. Alright. Let's pop to you all.